Now, from uh, the last one uh, from this uh, is the control section and program linking. So we are going to discuss what is control section are most often used for software programs. So we, we are using this to control. Okay. So control section is a part of program that maintain its identity after assembly. Each control section can be loaded and reallocated independently of other means. Control section means small, small section we will generate. Like we generally use this term subroutines, functions. Okay. So uh, like Control section, uh, no, sorry, we, are, we use this if statement. In our high level languages, we use if code, if else. Control section that will be in our program. Uh, and uh, we use if this statement will prove control will be transferred to this, otherwise, control will be moved to next statement after it. So, in assembly language, also some control section will be there. Okay. And wherever this control section that will be reallocated, means once they will get memory when we generate the source code, but when they will be ready for execution, they will be reallocated and they will be independent. Okay, different control sections are most often used for subroutine or other logical subdivision, means not only control section, like as I told you, if or no. The other block like function also using function also our control will be transferred from the function call to function definition. Okay, here also if one function call occur and I uh, control will be transferred to function definition. That function definition should be located into our main memory for execution and then it will be. Uh, it will be like uh, carried out into our main memory. It will be reallocated. It will get some memory, some memory address again. So whenever this concept will be done, like if I'm using some subroutine in my program and then subroutine will be called, it will be uh, uh, loaded into our main memory. All this made our whole program actually and these all things will be done in SQL and the which assembler directive will be used for control section is C set C set will be used to make the control section so if I will see this uh, it is later programmer can assemble, load, and manipulate each of these control sections separately. I Means separately, separately. Whenever this section will be called, they will be load into your main memory. Instruction in one control section may need to refer to instruction or battle located in another section. Because of this, there should be some name for linking. Okay, linking may be there like one control section. Control section may calling another control section statement or using some another control section statement. So linking will be there, should be there, okay, and uh, they, but they will work independently. Like here, one statement is written, C set, okay, subroutine to read, record into the buffer. Now, one, one, uh, this whole code, this whole code is being used to read the record into the buffer. Now, this is C set stop. Now, uh, sorry, this C set again, defining one subroutine to write record. Okay. So, in this way, when you are writing C set means you are defining one subroutine is being defined here. And these are the subroutine for reading the data and writing the data into the buffer. See here again subroutine to read record into the buffer, subroutine to write record from the buffer. So C set the statement is a assembler directive that will give a direction that okay from here that uh, your external section, uh, external uh, your subroutine is being started. Now external definition and references. 
it is a statement in control section names symbols that are defined in this section but may be used by other like we have discussed in previous uh, slide that one control section can use another control section statement okay so external def is being used to define those symbol that may be used by another control section so see here external def name symbols that are defined in this control section and it may be used by another section external reference external reference and name symbol that are used in this control section and defined elsewhere. So both are opposite to each other. One is external definition, or external reference. Definition means you, uh, uh, it is defined in this control section, but it, it is being used somewhere, maybe. And external reference means you are referring this symbol in your control section, but it is defined somewhere. So, this is when you are using uh, the like external definition. Now, Now the implementation, um, assembler must include the information in object program that will force the loader to insert proper values where they are required. Means when we want to implement all this concept and when uh, uh, like our program will be converted into object program and that object program will be loaded into our main memory for execution, then proper values from proper memory address should be be inserted into your main number. Okay, so these are defining code and wrapper code. Like you are defining column one, D, column two to seven. Name of external symbol defines this control section. Eight to thirteen means relative address. Fourteen to seventeen three repeat information in column two to thirteen. For other external symbol means it here what you are doing you are defining the things of your control section like call one for, for D that are defined that's in defining two to seven for external symbol okay that defined in this control but that can be used by another control section eight to thirteen relative address within this control section okay the addresses that belong to this program this control section only repeat information okay and refer records means the record that will be that we are referring in our control section so one the column one is for reference uh, from two to seven name of external symbol referred in this song means from another control section which is symbol we have referred from 2 to 7 we will define that and from 8 to 73 name of other external reference symbols okay so in this way we will maintain one record one that another is using and the second that current control uh, that uh, control section is being, uh, is using then modification record one will be the modification record modification record column one i'm representing the modification to the starting address of the field to be open like some modification should be required in the code okay so two to seven we will represent the address of those fields those columns that should be modified and eight to nine the length of the field to be modified Okay, in half byte it should be given. Okay, and 11 to 16 are the external symbol whose value is to be added or subtracted from the indicated field. Means whatever the fields we are giving in 11 to 16, okay, whose value should be added or subtracted. Means these are the modification, means in which fields we have to modify. Okay, 
control section name is automatically an external symbol that is it is available for use in modification recording system okay so these are the and this is our object code corresponding to this control section